Viewers and subscribers, please subscribe to Saga News TV and give a like and share. Skeleton remains believed to be those of a missing St. Catherine teacher. Danielle Anglin have been found in South River Clarendon. The body was found during an operation in the area that was conducted by Clarendon police, joined with investigators from the St. Catherine South Division. They put a superintendent in charge of crime. In Clarendon, Clifford Green said, the investigation carried out were it were relative to a missing person and so far, we have found skeletal remains and those remains have been processed and collected for further inv evidentiary processed. We wouldn't want to say at this time, intrinsic of this investigation, but these skeletal remains have significant improved information that we seek in this investigation, Green said. The 29 years old Anglin, who works at the St. Peter Clavis Primary, an infant school in St. Anjo, and who lives in the Elcha area of Portmore St. Catherine, was last seen about 5.30 a.m. on Monday, May 13, while on her way to work. The police are now probing the circumstances that lead to the death of a male inmate at the Trapitan Lockups in Clarendon early Monday morning. Reports are that about 3.15 a.m., police on duty heard unusual sounds coming from one of his cells and make checks. The inmate was reported the scene with a wound and was transported to the Maypen Hospital where he was pronounced dead. It is alleged that the wound was inflicted by another inmate. Commissioner of Police Dr. Kevin Blake has since directed that the Inspectorate and Professional Standard branch of the Jamaica Constabulary Force commencing an immediate probe into the circumstances that resulted into the death. The police have charged two men with the shooting death of a bearer in Kingston. Sometime between Saturday, May 18 and Wednesday, May 22, the deceased has been identified as 39 years old Andre Allen of a Kingston address, charged with murder and accessory after the fact are 21 years old Orlando Amington, otherwise called Baba, and 21 years old Normal Dickens, otherwise called Bob, of the same address. Reports are that Amington stumbled on Allen, lifeless body, in a yard with five men standing over him. Later in the morning, it is alleged that both Hamilton and Dickens were seen mixing cement and covered a pit that Allen's body was later found in. The police launched an investigation and both men were taken into custody and charged. A St. Elizabeth farmer who recently returned to the island has been charged with rape in relation to a 2022 incident in his community. He has been identified as 35 years old Oden Lee, otherwise called New Money of Barbie Hall District in the parish. Lee is also a construction worker. Reports are that on Friday, August 12, 2022, a woman was offered a ride home and boarded a Toyota Voxy motor vehicle with Lee and the driver on board. While transporting her home, it is alleged that the driver diverted her to a sports complex where Lee reportedly pulled her from the vehicle and sexually assaulted her. An investigation was launched and a warrant obtained for his arrest. After a report was made to the police, on Thursday, May 30, 2024, Lee was arrested after he returned to the island. A police corporal was shot and injured but managed to hit one of his attackers, killing him in what was an attempted robbery. Sunday morning in Sydenham in Spanish Town, St. Catherine, reports from the police are that the corporal had left home for work when he was sponsored by four men, one of whom was armed with a gun. The man reportedly tried to rob the cop. However, the lawman refused and opened fire, hitting one of the would-be robbers, killing him. In the melee, the cop was reportedly shot. In the left arm, he was taken to hospital, where he is receiving treatment. The Spanish Town Criminal Investigation Bureau is investigating the incident. A 15 years old student of Homestead Spanish Town St. Catherine has been charged with murder following an incident. Following an incident that took place, along Edistan Boulevard's Spanish Town St. Catherine on Wednesday, May 29. Dead is 16 years old, Zevora Edwards, of Edistan Boulevard, Spanish Town in the parish. Reports are that about 8 p.m., the teen and Edwards had an, an altercation when the teen used a sharp object to stab Edwards multiple times. The police were summoned and Edwards taken to hospital where he died while undergoing treatment. On Saturday, June 1, the teen was charged following an question and answer session. In the presence of an attorney, his court date is been finalized. The St. Elizabeth police seized 
a 9mm Ruka pistol during a vehicle checkpoint operation along the Pitcher Plain Cross Main Road on Saturday, June 2. Reports are that about 1 am, law enforcers stopped a motor vehicle with three male occupants during the search of a bag around one of the men's neck. The firearm was reportedly found and seized. The man with the bag and the other occupants of the vehicle were arrested. Their identifications are being withheld pending further investigation by the police. A construction worker was arrested and charged with alleged robbing a man of $700 on North Oden Avenue in Kingston early Saturday morning. Charged with robbery with violence is 43 years old. Ryan Rennie of Ambrook Lane in Kingston. Reports are that around 3.30 a.m. A man was walking along North Odan Avenue when Rene grabbed his bag which contained $700. Following the incident, the man made a report to the police. The complainant was then taken to the location of the robbery by the police and the culprit was pointed out. Rene was subsequently arrested and charged. His court date has been finalized. 